I remade food items into mobs in Minecraft. First, I'm gonna be remaking a piece of bread into a bread hound. I'm gonna be working from the actual Minecraft food items as well. I'll start by making this long piece of bread. Create some legs for our doughy friend to walk on. And here's a little dog head too. I decided to recolor the entire thing so that it looked a lot more like bread. It's looking honestly quite a bit like a hot dog right now. Hot dog, get it? <laughs> Oh, that's funny. But we're gonna need a bread hound. So I'll need to work on the texture a bit. Next, I think this canine is going to need a delicious looking face. I don't think you're ready for this one. Yeah, that didn't, that was bad. That was bad. But let's see how it looks in game. The bready factor and the doughy look just came out adorable all in all. He's so cute. He's going after the sheep. I can't tell if they're friends or if he's trying to take that sheep down right now. He's trying to tackle the sheep. He got the sheep knocked down. I guess I'll reward you anyway. I can get bread in return for wheat. Well, tastes just like bread. Bring in a vindicator here and let's see our bread hound go to work. Do the rest of your work. Here, have some more. Here you go. I'll go after this guy. You're well fed again. There he goes. Four hits. I think it was four hits. Seven out of 10. Next up, I'm gonna remake cookies into Cookie Monster. Start with making a flat base, then start to build it out into a monster body sort of shape. Give it some beefy arms. This guy definitely hits arm day. And I'll also give him some individual fingers. This is really feeling almost cursed. Now let's start to work on that cookie monster face. Oh yeah, I'm feeling good about the shape of this one. Turn the whole thing brown, then give it some derpy looking eyes. I'm gonna use the cocoa beans to make a whole mouth full of teeth. Would it be considered cannibalism for a cookie monster to eat cookies? I mean, he literally is made out of cookies. I'll texture on some cocoa bean spots all over its body, and with some final texturing, this guy's looking solid. Let's see how the cookie monster looks in game. He looked like a bunch of cookie at first, and now he does look a little bit like meat. And those fingers are excruciatingly long. Let's just bring in a ton of Vindicators. Cookie Monster already starts backing up and blasting cookies out at the Vindicators. He holds them, then runs for a melee attack. He is absolutely fearless. Back to cookies. How many cookies did you store in there? Give them to me. Give them to me. Cookies can't be caught. Oh, golly. He's gonna spit the cookies. Can't touch me. Can't touch. Oh, he can touch me. Here's some digested bread to repay your effort. 8.3 out of 10. Next up, we're gonna remake this rotten flesh into a rotten worm. Don't even ask me how I got that idea. I'm gonna start by making this long worm shape, paint the whole thing rotten flesh colored, then make this front part into a grotesque mouth. I'll give it these two tiny black eyes and texture the top of it this gross color, just like rotten flesh. You know how people sometimes eat rotten flesh in Minecraft when they have nothing better? Yeah, I don't think I'd want to do that with the rotten worm. I'm just gonna keep texturing it until the whole thing looks as disgusting as rotten flesh. And yeah, there's the rotten worm. I kind of hate it, but I also kind of love it. Let's see if we still like it when we see it in game. Our rotten worm looks gross. And I, of course, made this guy hostile towards the player. Now, he's very, very, very slow at moving around. Let's just see how much damage he can do. It's getting very close right now. And he got me. Okay, I'm poisoned. Yeah, that's disgusting. The rotten worm isn't only hostile to players. They're also hostile towards villagers. Spawn one right on top of you guys and watch these rotten worms take this villager and turn him into a zombie. I maybe should have sped them up a little bit. They're absolutely disgusting though, which is sort of the point. So I'm gonna go 7.6 out of 10. Now I'm gonna remake this pumpkin pie as a walking pumpkin pie corpse. First, I'm gonna need to make a 3D pumpkin pie shape. And after that, I'll add the body to it, shape in some legs as well as the arms, then paint the entire thing pumpkin pie brown. He's looking super tasty so far. Turn its face into pie crust. And now the scary part. I'm gonna give it this boiling scarecrow face right in the pie. Now I'm gonna make it so that you can see the pie filling through the monster's ribs. Make this light colored spine go all the way down its body, then retexture the whole thing to be a beautiful blended pie color. Now I'm not sure if I'll be eating pumpkin pie or if it's going to eat me but let's find out. Oh, our pumpkin pie is trying to walk away from us. We found him over here. Our corpse pumpkin scarecrow pie. This pie corpse does look a lot like a zombie. I may have made him look too much like a zombie. Of course, he's supposed to be a corpse, but the pumpkin pie, I may have lost it just a tad. And now we have way too much pumpkin pie to get through in one sitting, but they're not completely hostile. I mean, they are, but they're not. I gave them a chance to heal us on hit because they're pumpkin.
pumpkin pie. They're pumpkin pie. Now, the question is, will I get enough healing for every single hit? There's only one real way to find out, but I'm kind of nervous to, to see it happen. Okay, here we go. That's, that healed. Oh, down to three. Down to one! I died to bloat. I'm back for pie round two. And now I can probably, oh, I can't get, I can't get my hit off. I might be able to. Actually, this might work. This is not working. This is not working at all. If I try to deal with just one, there we go. I could take one pumpkin pie down and I get the pumpkin pie remains. Also known as suspicious pumpkin pie. I probably should not eat, but of course, for the sake of science, I must consume. I have a small chance of having a positive effect and a large chance of having a negative effect effect. Ooh, positive. But will the pie or I win in large quantities? Test kit round three. Here goes one. Solid. Oh no, not solid. Not solid. Round four. Yes, solid. Solid. Round five. Solid again. Eating the pie is better than letting the pie eat me. We're gonna go five out of ten. Now we're gonna remake kelp into a kelp steed. I'm gonna need to start by making a generic horse-shaped model, add some short ears and some skinny legs, but this isn't just going to be any horse. Horse. It's gonna be more like a seahorse. So this back half of the horse will be a long tail meant for swimming. I'll add some fins to this part as well. You can see it's kind of shaped like a horse mermaid right now, which is actually looking pretty good. Now with that done, I'm gonna start coloring the whole thing kelp colors. Texture in that horse face. It looks a little derpy, which is perfect. Here are some seaweed spines. And also add on some scales to the body. Scales here, scales there, scales all over. And I got a little carried away with making it look this detailed. I think it'd be really cool if I added these kelp growths coming off of it as well. Oh yeah, this is turning out nice. I think we'll call you Kelpie. Let's see how Kelpie looks in Minecraft. Let's bring Kelpie onto the land and see if he tries to get to the water or if he just stays on land, which may end poorly. And he goes straight to the land. As soon as he comes in, he looks phenomenal and did run right to the water and he looks very happy in the water. Round two, right from the land, straight to the water. Round three, right from the land onto the water. Okay, all of them can confirm. As soon as Kelpie gets to the water, he looks extremely happy in the water. No desire to visit your creator on land, so I guess I'll go to the water and join you. Yes, this is an absolute blast, guys. Glad we're enjoying ourselves. We can even mount the Kelpie, but Kelpie does not like to be ridden. We jump on side. Yep, Kelpie goes right under the water, attempting to go as deep as possible, truly attempting to drown us until we dismount. We'll try one more time, see if we can force him to go a certain direction. We have no control. We have no control. And he's trying to go deeper into the water. And I think Kelpie is one of the coolest looking models so far. You, my friend, despite hating me, get a 9 out of 10. Next up, we're gonna turn a beat into a DJ. And his name shall be DJ Beatroot. Don't question it. Start by making this beat shaped model. Add on some tiny little legs and arms. And I wasn't joking when I said DJ. Here's some headphones. Now that I have this grooving beats model done, let's start coloring him right. Red for the beat and green for the leaf. Then I added a couple more leaves coming off of his head, going for sort of a hair feature. And to really give off that cool energy, I also textured on some sunglasses. And I still had some work to do on the details. After that was done, DJ Beatroot was ready for action. Let's see this guy jamming in game. I found some turtles here that we can use as an audience for DJ Beatroot. Let's bring you here with the backdrop of the ocean. <laughs> DJ Beatroot looks like the coolest dude in the lands. Look at those shades. Headphones always on. The leaves coming off of his head look like the ultimate haircut. Why did he just zip off to the water and come right back? Need to soak his feet, get him a tad bit wet to begin with. Let's see where he goes to set up shop. He's walked all the way over to the village here. Closer into the village. I think he's looking for actual villagers to perform for. Oh! He got to the center of the village and he is jamming away. I would have given you a much sweeter soundtrack, but you know, copyright and everything. I actually am very curious what soundtrack that is. <laughs> Let me get it. We got our music disc. Let's get this music disc into a jukebox. And now DJ Beatroot can effectively be fired. We have the jukebox that can do everything DJ Beatroot could do. But for putting on a great performance, we're gonna give DJ Beatroot and his super sweet sunglasses an eight out of 10. I think sweet berries would make a cool three-headed plant mob. So let's get to work. 
I started with a pretty generic looking flower shape, then I added some green bits for leaves and replaced the berry parts with these little red cubes. It's gotta be a mob though, so here's some little eyes. And I said three headed, so let's just duplicate it a couple of times. And they can't just be floating there, so I'll need to attach them to the plant part. This one is pretty simple, but I'm really happy with how the sweet buddies came together. Couldn't you just eat them right up? Like literally eat them? I think I could eat them. But now we gotta see how it looks in game. And our sweet buddies look absolutely adorable. Three of them to a clump. They do look tasty, just as I suspected. As long as I can safely get close enough without you guys turning on me. Hey, look, we're friends. At least until I get hungry. And we can give sweet berries to our sweet buddies in order to tame you. Yes, look at us. Great friends. Great, great friends. Now our sweet buddies are here to serve us for anything that we want. If we give more sweet berries, then we get our healing effect. Let's see if we can get enough healing to survive these vindicators. Okay, they're coming fast. Let me get right around to our sweet buddies. Okay, guys, please stay. Next. I just gotta jump in there and start feeding. Feed, 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 feed. It's enough. It's enough. It's not enough. It was almost enough. It was nearly enough, and then it was not enough. I should be good now. Now I'm good. Only it's nearly not enough. It just isn't even close. I underestimated the closeness of our relationship. You only get a three out of 10. For this next one, hear me out. I'm gonna turn this raw chicken into, well, raw chicken. Let me show you. Start by making this chicken nugget shape. Then I continued by basically just making a Minecraft chicken, but tan. Painted all this naked chicken color. Add the eyes. I know this looks super ridiculous right now. Hold on. On, but then we're gonna make the legs look like chicken drumsticks. I went ahead and textured the entire chicken to look like Minecraft's raw chicken item. Boom, raw chicken, but a mob. I know this is actually really dumb, but let's see how it looks in game. All right, our sweet buddies were not as tasty as anticipated, but look at our raw chicken. Oh, he doesn't look tasty. He doesn't look tasty. He also doesn't look tasty. In fact, when he's not flapping anywhere, he just looks like a chicken that has been completely de-feathered. Let's bring enough of these guys in here to open up a KFC here. The only thing I need is a pot of frying oil and we could make some fried chicken. Oh, this is gonna get very gruesome very quickly. I should at least give you a chance to fight back. Uh, oh, they're angry. Yeah, they're angry right away. Okay, you're so tiny though. It's so hard. Got one, got two. Almost, 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 almost. You guys are really doing a great job of keeping me away. My golly. Got two and got three. Woohoo! Oh, I just realized our poor de-feathered chickens don't drop any feathers. They only drop more raw chicken. <laughs> <laughs> and I almost got five here. Our last chicken, buddy. Careful there, buddy. Got five. Just to rub it in your face a bit, I'll eat you. Raw chicken. Absolutely gross. Oh, I got sick. I got horribly ill from eating the chicken. Yikes. You guys look very cute, though very, very angry, but we did successfully turn the raw chicken back into a chicken creation, which is nearly a flawless creation, especially the fact that you're missing your feathers. I don't want to do this because you're making me quite angry, but I'm going to give you an 8.5 out of 10. Now I'm going to turn this piece of steak into a full-on burger mob. I'm going to model this the way I would cook a burger. So I'm starting with our buns. Do you make the buns first? I mean, I guess so if you're making them from scratch. You do make the buns first, don't you? Then we're going to add some pieces for lettuce and cheese. And I'm going to start to stack the burger. I feel like I work in a digital fast food restaurant right now. But here's the fun part. I'm going to raise the burger up and give it legs and give it arms. Now that shape looks good. I'm going to color it just right. Yep, that's perfect. And now for the eyes because this burger needs to be able to see where it's going. And we can't forget the sesame seed bun. And I ended up retexturing all the individual pieces before reassembling the burger and added some extra ingredients like tomatoes. Still conflicted whether I like tomatoes on a burger or not. Finally, I have created a burger mob that even SpongeBob would be proud of. But let's see it in Minecraft. My hope is that instead of a KFC, we can open up a burger shop and Burger Boy is looking mighty tasty. You can almost see the grease falling out of of his burger out of the burger and look at the sesames on top not to be biased but sesame seeds on a bun absolutely make a difference fight me our burger boy is off to the races attacking the sheep my goodness the violence in this burger is it because i talked about your seeds buddy look at him run around <laughs> the ferocity in which his arms move oh my goodness wait a second no that's what you're made of don't take down the cow you're attacking your own kind oh yikes that was violent. Let's raise a small burger army. Look at these guys. Lettuce, cheese, tomato popping out. Will they throw ketchup at it? Looks like they will. As soon as the eyes turned. Oh, the Vindicator's coming after me. Save me, please, burger boys. Not in time. Are you serious? 
serious? I'm gonna be honest. I think our burger boys intentionally let me go down first because of what I did to their burger buddy. And you guys also look magnificent with unlimited amounts of Heinz ketchup. I think we got to give our burger boys a 9.3 out of 10. Now I'm gonna turn a piece of mutton into a mutton moth. I'm actually gonna start by making the moth body. And my plan is to make it look like it has wool, like a sheep. Here's the little face of the moth, mutton colored, of course. And for the wings, they're gonna be two huge pieces of mutton. I spent a lot of time making sure these giant slabs of mutton look right. That's definitely a sentence that's never been said before. After finishing that, I revisited the eyes because I felt like they weren't moth-like enough before. And with two woolly antenna on the head, I think this mutton moth is ready to go. Let's check it out in game. Now that mutton moth is looking amazing. The meat layers on this mutton moth turned out beautiful. Don't worry, our mutton moth is not going to attack the sheep. We can bring in loads and loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of sheep here just to prove it. Don't worry, you guys aren't in danger, I hope. Our mutton moth instead is gonna fly around and cheer all of the sheep. Though it's sort of an annoying behavior because no wool actually drops from the sheep. The mutton just steals it for itself. And I think the mutton moth is using the wool in order to fuel itself and expend it as energy. Let me see if I can get a good whack on you and find out what you're securing inside of yourself. That's three. My goodness, you're strong. Oh my word, you are one beefy, I mean, muttony boy. All you drop me is some darn string. And if I ever found myself in a situation where I needed one million sheep sheared, and our mutton moth army is off to the races, they nearly have every sheep sheared already. 9.4 out of 10. Next up, let's turn this golden carrot into a bunny carrot. Hopefully, it doesn't try to eat itself. I created the carrot shape like this and then made these huge leaves coming out of the top. Then I curved them over to give them some dip and recolor the whole thing gold. I spent a lot of time making the golden carrot texture look good and then started working on the face. Right now, it kind of looks like a Mario power-up. The leaves of the carrot kind of look like they have these crimson streaks, so I added those. And to make it rabbit-like, I turned two of these leaves into ears. Now, I think the adorable carrot is totally complete, but let's see it in game and find out for sure. Another immaculate hairdo on on our golden carrot with the two massive ears. This guy looks awesome. Very, very sweet. Oh, he's off to the farmland and he's gonna go hide himself in the dirt. Nothing to see here. Absolutely nothing suspicious here at all. Just gonna go ahead and clear out some of this beautiful crop. So oh, what's this? This looks odd to have here. Oh my goodness, a golden carrot. Yeet, run away. Oh, he almost got me on that one. That was a close call. Yikes, he's still chasing me down. Oh my gosh. Okay, I better be careful. This golden carrot is super upset. Let's give him some buddies. Wait, there's a zombie coming after me. Can we wake him up again and then have him go after the zombie? Every time. We're back in time to see all of our golden carrots bury themselves into the farmland again. And now that you're all buried again, I'm gonna wake all of you up all at the same time. One more. Oh, I missed the last one. Okay, I gotta be careful. Oh my gosh. Three out of 10. 